Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nico Brothers. And today we're working on the beetle, the bug, like you're saying, it doesn't really matter. You know exactly what we're talking about. And reading your guys' comments, yes, it's moving right along a lot faster than our truck build. Because obviously there's a lot less damage on it. We're not doing a frame swap, engine swap on it. It was kind of a... And we're, and we're not waiting for parts. Yeah, we have the parts here, thanks to carparts.com, you know. They gave us everything, that was awesome. But yeah, it's coming right along. We got it jammed out, and now we're just moving forward to get this thing painted. But now we basically have to take it apart, get the other fender off, get this thing sanded down, taped up, covered up again, and hopefully painted. I mean, that's the game plan. There's a lot of sanding to do, still a lot of prep work, because a lot of prep work for a good paint job. And why does it make it look good? Because somebody we put a lot of work into it before, it was restored, now we're restoring it again to make it look real mint, for sure. But before we get to it, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Giraffe Tools. Giraffe Tools is a company that makes retractable hose reels, pressure washers, air hose reels, cord reels, a combination of pressure washer and pressure washer reels, and a whole lot more. So today we are testing out the Grand Falls pressure washer. This thing just plugs right into the wall, 120 volts, get a water hose to it, and you're good to go. It's an all-in-one pressure washer with a retractable hose reel. Giraffe Tools makes the longest retractable hose reel out there today. This pressure washer could be used for car repair, deep cleaning, garden tending, and everything in between. It has a 13.5 amp motor on it. Honestly, we love it because we've installed it next to our paint booth. That way we could prep our cars right before they go inside the paint booth, basically getting all that mud and debris off that was outside. We get it right before the paint booth, and honestly, we use it for our parts as well as we're sanding them, getting all the little nicks and things out of it. We could just pressure wash it off. We've been wanting to clean this garage door for I don't know how long, but we just can't get the pressure washer over there. But now with this 100 foot reel, I mean, it's very easy, very accessible, and we could clean parts that we weren't able to get to before. It has a max pressure of 2200 PSI. Effortlessly use your hose at any length with its automatic stopping system. Combining a pressure washer with a reel, all in one saving space and time and energy. So I'm really looking forward to using this pressure washer to get our bug properly cleaned because we could drive it inside. Honestly, we could wash it inside, outside with that really long hose. It's not gonna be a problem, but it's very important to get it properly cleaned before paint. So now with the pressure washer, that shouldn't be a big deal at all. So it's pretty cool. Everything that you need to get it mounted, installed and running is included in the box. So it just came, unboxed it, plugged it in, hooked it up, and it's good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and get back to the bug. Let's get this thing cleaned up properly and get ready for paint. All right guys, so the game plan is to repaint the entire car. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this fender so I can get to that little black seal right there. You know, make sure we get that pretty good. Um, other than that, I think we're ready just to sand it all down. There's a couple imperfections here and there we're gonna to try to fix, you know, get it repaired since we're going at it. But yeah, it's gonna look really good. I don't know what we're gonna do the front windshield just yet. We might cut it out. We might just tape it up for now. I don't know, we'll have to see. Try to figure that one out, but yeah, not too bad. Just go ahead and get it repainted and make it look good again.
going to go ahead and take off the door handle and also the little trim behind it, the little seal, so that way we don't get that painted. Uh, this door handle is actually really simple. I think it's two bolts and it should just slide right out. Let's check it out. Just like that, nice and easy, keep it chrome, don't have to worry about it. And then just open the door, you just push it. Nice. Got my other one off already. All right, and to get this door seal off, there's just a little pin right there, and literally pull out the pin, and it'll come out. Isn't that crazy? Here we go, let's put that back so I don't lose it. Not even a bolt or anything, but hey, it's been working. Why not? Done deal. There's my seal. Getting closer, detrimming this thing.
let's go ahead and knock out this hood. It's not really a big hood, but it is still a big old hood, so not too bad. Underneath looks great. Let's get the top side. You get the idea. Let's get some camera magic. There we go, guys. Just like that. Got it done. Okay, not gonna lie. It's not just like that. It definitely got darker. It's been hours on this thing. It's very tedious. But hey, that's the hood. You want to make it look good. So I put a lot of time and effort and energy into it. So yeah, it's looking good now. All sanded down. Go ahead and dry it off and put it with the other parts because Ivan is ready to paint and he's just waiting for me to get this hood done. I think he's taking a coffee break right now. That's nice. All right guys, so just like that, finally we got inside the paint booth. I'm pretty excited because this is the fun part where we start putting down the paint. But before we do all that, we have to tape it up. So we gotta air dry this thing, make sure all the water's out of all these little crevices, things like that. We're gonna be replacing the front glass, so I'm gonna probably cut this rubber thing off and then we'll get the glass replaced. Though I think we ordered a new one, so it should be good to go. Well, pretty much we got a lot of taping. Um, I don't think we're gonna put that much plastic on it. We'll probably do paper because we got the windows to cover, the engine bay, a little bit of side, a little bit of windows, and we should be done. So, and then we're gonna try to paint everything at once. So we got the bug right here. Thank goodness it's really small. Then we got like the two rear fenders. We have the two front fenders, the hood, the little brow thing right here. Visor thing. Visor, and then we got a couple little pieces. So I'm pretty sure we can fit everything in here. You know, it's gonna be a little tight, but I'd rather paint everything at once. Everything's gonna match, be nice and clean, and it looks gonna look the same. So let's get straight to it. Let's start taping and uh, keep working. So there we go, finally we got the bug all taped up. It's looking really good. Definitely a lot of room around to get this thing painted. Also we put all the other pieces up there. We got the hood in the back, we'll check out. But we got a spoiler right here, one of the tail light covers. We can't find the other one, so we'll paint this one. We'll see how that one matches. We got both front fenders on. And uh, it went onto the stands really nice. I was pretty happy with it. So we can get both sides to match nicely. Then we got the rear fenders on there and the hood. So first thing I want to do is put, we're going to we're already tack cloth it, where we wiped it down, is put some etching primer on some spots where the metal is showing. And then we'll put sealer down and then we'll put the paint down. So let's get straight to it.
So there we have it. I'm really happy with it. It turned out really good. Pretty excited about it. We're gonna let it dry a little bit, then we're gonna untape it. But I'm loving the color. It's looking super clean. Definitely a very thick coat of clear. Made a couple little runs, but no biggie. And uh, this spoiler is gonna look good. The, the little tail light thing, the bow fenders in the front, they're all matching. So we're gonna have nice coverage and the car is gonna look really good. But it's unfortunately it's pretty late. And uh, let's untape this thing and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright guys, so it's the next day and uh, I gotta say, I'm, it's looking really good. I'm pretty happy with it. it the clear definitely laid down nice and smooth. Uh, now we're gonna let it sit, pretty much wait, maybe wait a day or so, let it like fully cure because we gotta put the fenders on, we gotta start assembling, but maybe we'll start putting this, we gotta put the suspension on together. That's gonna be a lot of fun parts, you know, a lot of fun process going all together and pretty much get ready for our first test drive but unfortunately that's all the time we got for this episode you guys leave us a comment down below what you guys think of the progress so far and we'll catch you guys next time